Hi everybody, I've got a short video today. Um, I found this up in my uh, attic uh, where I have been storing it since I rebuilt my uh, AODE transmission for my red truck. Um, I built this uh, fixture, this tran automatic transmission fixture uh, for lifting and for holding it while I rebuilt it. Um, I saw something similar or commercially made one for uh, commercial shops, basically a C-frame um, with these uh, pins. Uh, most of the modern automatic transmissions you'll see have sockets on the side. Um, it's, it's a lifting point. Uh, so what I did is I built this like a C-shaped frame here out of two inch by three inch by eighth inch wall uh, tubing. It's just something I happen to have on hand. Uh, probably overbuilt for what it is. Uh, but I made it where I welded it to a uh, quarter inch by five inch steel plate on the back that bolts up to my existing engine stand. This is a, a normal Jeep engine stand. You'd get the tractor supply or Harbor Freight or wherever. Uh, you're probably familiar with them if you're looking at this video. Uh, it's got these uh, spider arms that go into the elongated slots on the uh, on the faceplate of the engine stand. I just matched the uh, bolt pattern so that this one pin would be in center line with um, the uh, engine stand itself uh, to access that one bolt. Uh, you can't see it in there. Um, the head is in here. You use a long, a long socket and you could tighten this one up. Also, that gives you uh, the center of gravity is in the best location for spinning it over, flipping it uh, without you know having too much uh, counterweight. Um, this also you could use it to to lift uh, your transmission, pick it up with an engine hoist um, with this bolt on top. I had a uh, a lifting ring I used for. Uh, an outboard motor that uh, fits over there and you just put a uh, these are 5 8 11 threads here so just a 5 8 nut and washer and you could, then you could lift the uh, transmission uh, easily now to get uh, when I did this I had the uh, my engine on this engine stand I only have one engine stand uh, so I made a little uh, brackets that go on the motor mount areas of the engine uh, just to hold it on uh, laid on the on the ground but I wanted to make it in such a way that uh, the uh, bell housing area of the transmission would be clear so I could bolt it up or unbolt it off of this engine stand um, here's a picture of it um, anyhow you could uh, pick up the transmission with This, you can actually leave this this uh, this part of the engine stand on the transmission fixture while you're working on uh, while you're lifting uh, it's not in the way and it's actually works out works out uh, pretty good I'm trying to do this with one hand I'm sorry. It's kind of a snug fit but the idea is uh, you would lift it up this this spigot would be uh, on the fixture, and then you could basically uh, maneuver the stand onto it with the transmission. Uh, and uh, then set it on the ground. Um, pretty, pretty simple. Anyhow, I've also got. Uh, anybody wants to build this, I've got a drawing at the end of the video. Uh, or sketch, I should say. Uh, feel free to adjust those uh, dimensions to suit your particular needs. Like I said, I happen to have this material on hand, um, so that's what I used. Uh, anyhow, uh, hope hope you like this. Uh, uh, please subscribe uh, or comment if you've got any ideas or if you've done something like this. I'd like to hear about it. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and thank you.